Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm Justin, President of VMP Performance. Today I want to talk with you about overdrive balancers for the Coyote. This has been a product we've offered for a long time. We've had 5%, 15%, 25%. We are moving to a new generation of balancers that we've developed with ATI and I want to explain to you the benefits of them. Okay, so the balancer discussion is a really important one because the factory ugly, heavy balancer just doesn't do a good job. And there's one thing it doesn't do at all. It doesn't overdrive the supercharger and it doesn't provide additional ribs for more grip. So that was the first thing that really drove the offering of these balancers. Initially for our old 8 and 10 rib kits that we developed over 10 years ago, we took an off-the-shelf ATI balancer for the Coyote and made a new ring for what is commonly called the AC pulley because on a regular naturally aspirated Coyote, it drives just the AC system. When you go supercharge, it also drives a supercharger. This setup worked really good for a long time. It gave us some flexibility to offer eight rib or 10 rib, different overdrive sizes. However, when the new Shelby GT500 came out, it had an eight rib balancer from the factory and of course ATI wanted to design a better piece for it. So we worked with ATI on what we wanted to see and this is what came out of it. ATI was able to reduce the weight of the balancer a whole lot. And I basically wanna show you today what these design improvements are, why you should switch to the new balancer design on your supercharged Coyote or your GT500, and how it's gonna to apply to BMP's eight and 10 rib kit offerings. So the Coyote's been out for over 10 years now. We've all learned a lot, and one of the things that we've learned that weight on the crankshaft is bad and good dampening is critical. When ATI redesigned the balancer, they were able to make the hub that mounts on the end of the crank snout much, much lighter. This is the original design. You can see it weighs 2.7 pounds. This is the new design. It weighs 2.2 pounds. The reason ATI did this originally is because the AC compressor, it just didn't need to be driven in a race application. So you would just install the front pulley that drove the alternator and water pump critical items and install this, and you'd have a pretty lightweight combo. Comes in at 8.3 pounds. However, as soon as you add an overdrive balancer ring for the supercharger drive, you're at 10.7 pounds. The new Shelby GT500, it, it had a new mandate. It had both the AC and the supercharger on the first shiv or the rear belt, and it, obviously you can't just toss that pulley, you have to drive it. So ATI was able to take an entirely fresh perspective on the balancer design. They made the hub shorter, um, they moved the critical component, the dampening ring, to be closer to the engine block, closer to the front main. Um, really, it results in a lot of weight being shifted rearward and also making the balancer lighter overall. So I wanna put all these parts on here and weigh them for you. And now you can see the accessory belt drive pulley is just a small pulley that bolts onto the front of the assembly. We are at 9.6 pounds for the 10% eight rib version, and everybody's going to want to know, okay, what does the 20% 10 rib version do? Ten point one pounds, still significantly lighter than the old setup, even with more overdrive. Now that you've seen the weights and I've talked about it, I want to show you a side view. When you go to install an, this balancer on the engine, this part right here is gonna bottom out against the crank sprocket. Usually if these parts have been run, they actually have the Ford logo on them. It imprints itself from the crank sprocket. So this is where a lot of the weight savings comes from. This new hub is just shorter than the old hub. And as I said earlier, the inertia ring moves back and then the accessory pulley becomes just a bolt-on ring. And this really speaks to where coyotes have gone in the high performance and racing world. 
Water pumps are electric. Alternators may not be used on all-out race cars. So this part can be discarded if all you need to do is drive the supercharger. In front of me on the table, we have several different designs. This is a 10% overdrive 8-rib. This is a 20% overdrive 8-rib. These are offerings for, first of all, the 2020 Shelby GT500 with the 5.2. They are going to add about two pounds of boost for the 10% and four pounds of boost for the 20%. You can figure that every 5% of overdrive is about one pound of boost. It's also equivalent to about a point one inch change in the upper supercharger pulley. That's how the math works out when you figure lower overdrives versus upper pulleys. And of course, the lower always has to be bigger because it's the drive pulley and the supercharger pulley has to be smaller because it's the driven pulley. Now over here, we have a 20% overdrive tin rib. This part right here is going to be for VMP's tin rib kits for the Gen 3R and also for a future 10 rib kit for the Shelby GT500. If you do install one of these balancers on a five liter Coyote, you are gonna need to get a four rib accessory belt off of a 2020 GT500. It's like 15 bucks from your local Ford dealer because this pulley is a four rib design. So we're really, really happy that we developed these new parts with ATI. They give you, the consumer, a lot more options when supercharging and overdriving your Coyote or Predator engine. Um, one of the things that I do want to mention that is really important, you can change the front shell assembly without ever taking the hub off the crank. That saves a lot of labor and also a lot of wear and tear on that really tight slip fit. So it's a, a really cool benefit that falls out of this new design because customers can upgrade from a 10% to a 20% later on or vice versa. Gives you basically more options to control the boost level that you're running. I also want to mention that the new style balancer uses a different pulley alignment or offset that is standard with the new Shelby GT500. So VMP's old 5%, 15%, 25% 10 rib kits are not compatible with any of the new parts. However, we highly recommend you convert to the new system because it is better for crankshaft durability in terms of weight and where that weight is placed on the crank snout. These balancers are available now on the VMP website. Make sure you keep watching for more information on the upcoming 8 and 10 rib kits for Gen 3R and Odin. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see everybody next time.